Hi, welcome to online digital marketing training. Uh, in this video, I'm explaining more about uh, cPanel. I told you, right, uh, if you really want to create an e-commerce website, I recommended business hosting or ultimate Linux hosting in GoDaddy. So when they give you, you will be having a cPanel, guys. This is about a cPanel. Somewhat technical, it's not uh, much tough. But if you spend some time, this is really good actually. So there are many options. The file manager, where you can take a backup. These are the different databases, domains, and different applications you can download here. Say WordPress, Zoomla, Drupal. These are all the things. Now, my main website is here. There is one website called techcourses.com where I'm providing my e-learning videos for very less price. Now students who ask me to practice some websites, I'm giving subdomains on that. So what is subdomain? Now this is techcourses.com, right? Now if you type venkat.techcourses.com, that is a subdomain I've created and I gave it to the student. It means the main website is techcourses.com under that venkat is one folder but this is also one separate website only now crawler will come crawler will identify this as a separate website separate analytics will be there separate seo will perform right like uh, what kind of businesses can go for this kind of thing like uh, assume that odmt is providing training apart from digital marketing, data science, Python, these kind of different things, then your main website should be odmt.in, then data science.odmt, python.odmt, so that separate subdomains, separate content you can write, separate titles, even your SEO also will be good, with exclusive separate analytics for the each subdomain. Okay, right. In such a way, uh, you, got an opportunity like you got a requirement to have a subdomain then how to do it and many other things I'm going to explain in the C panel. So initially I'm coming down to how to create subdomain. So come back here domains, add on domains, subdomain. What do you mean by add on domain? Now you have one good ID account. So you have one good ID account. In that you can have multiple hosting hosting a hosting B like this whenever you purchase domain under GoDaddy account this domain is not part of hosting a or not hosting B at the time you have to add this domain as an add-on domain then only you can apply a hosting for that okay subdomain is a concept you already added a domain for some hosting A or hosting B in that you want to create a subdomains then go for this. Now I'm creating a subdomain. So again I'm telling you for every hosting there will be a root domain, a primary domain. So as of now for this I have a techcourses.com. This is my primary domain. So whenever you want to take a subdomains it will come for this only not for something else. So here I'm going for a subdomain. I'm clicking on subdomains. Right, see, by default, my domain is techcourses.com. Primary domain is coming. Now, what do you want to create? Now, Gopi have tried it. So, I'm taking like Gopi Krishna. This is a subdomain I'm creating. That's it. Now, one subdomain have been created. Now, if you type Gopi Krishna dot techcourses.com. It will not come it will not come because just now i take it i took a domain only i haven't installed wordpress again venkat asked me the question what is the difference between uh, wordpress hosting and this web hosting wordpress hosting by default wordpress is installed Whereas web hosting just now I took one domain WordPress is not installed that you have to do manually. So 
I'm going to install it manually now. Once it is done, let me go back to the cPanel. Now, whether you want to install a WordPress, a Zoomla, a Drupal, Magento, whatever you want to do it, whatever you are familiar with. I'm good at WordPress, so I'm installing WordPress now. WordPress. Now install this application. When you click, it will be asking you where you want to install it. People by default directly scroll down and they do it. They don't check the main domain. See, it is installing on the main website http www.techcourses.com. I don't want in this, I want in a subdomain. Whatever the subdomain you've created, now it will be available here. If you keep checking, it will be available here. So instead of checking like this, you can search here like Gopi Krishna. See, it's coming. Now, now there are four uh, options that is showing where I have to do it. See, most of the time, if you go for a business hosting, HTTPS will be given. This HTTPS will be available for your main domain and for your subdomains also automatically it will come. Okay. But uh, whatever the hosting, there are again different kinds of hosting. Anyway, if it comes to this hosting, by default, uh, for the subdomains, it is not coming. I didn't uh, fix it actually. That's why it's not coming. So, other that case, instead of doing it in HTTPS, do it on a HTTP. Now, one more option, either HTTP or HTTPS. Can you see dub dub dub? Shall I go for dub dub dub? Subdomains will not carry www. Okay, you should not install that in a ww go for a normal one remember this thing now by default one blog option is there you have to remove it okay it means if you keep it like this many students do it they search gopikrishna.techcourses.com they say that website is not coming why because your file have been stored in gopikrishna.techcourses.com slash blog it will be storing you see here your website name is this now that's why this is you have to remove it now, what is the version of the WordPress you're downloading? 5.5.1 is the latest version. Now, by default, username and password they gave. Okay. Now, if you want, you can change it. I'm changing it. Yes. And this is administration email like uh, where you want to see uh, wherever the store notice uh, if order is received where it will come let me take gopi email id so that any notification it will come to you second i forgot the password right that's it guys my to take anything so i've been to cpanel first of all i've created a subdomain then i've selected wordpress installed it here i changed where i want to do it subdomains don't carry dub 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 i've selected this if you have a proper ssl certificate select https then come down make sure that optional blog option is removed then your username password and your email id where you'll be getting uh, all orders worlds messages install that's it now wordpress will be getting installed on the particular subdomain whereas if you take a wordpress hosting by default they only do it here you have an option of choosing uh, wordpress drupal blah 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 now once it is done let us see whether it is working or not now see it is done if you see it will be somewhere else here your earlier one is gopi.techcourses. Now the gopi krishna.techcourses is installing here. Done. Now earlier it was not coming, right? Let me refresh it. See, it is coming. Now if you want to log in, slash admin. Username and password. What is the username? Is it Gopi Krishna or Gopi? Gopi Krishna. 
Rupee. So if you remember the username and password directly from here, you can do it. If not, if you just click on this also directly from GoDaddy, you can go there. But it's always good to remember the password. Here by default, it is asking you to uh, select some theme. But here I'm just clicking on exit WordPress dashboard because I know how to do that. What kind of theme I have to select? Yes. That's it. Yes, successfully uh, we installed it and it is working. Now the previous one, I don't want this. Then I can remove any time so that I can save some space, right? So here uninstall option is there. Click on that and uninstall. Now, once it is uninstalled, when you check Gopi dot tech courses, it will be no, nothing. There will be no website over there because we uninstalled it. Now I'm going to show one more option here. Now shop dot tech courses. I've in the previous videos, I explained how to create this. Assume that you like this website. Okay. And you want to do some modification, but you are not sure about the settings. If you apply the setting, you might think that something will happen to the website, but I need a backup. So one good option is there with the backup with the help of subdomains. Then what you can do is uh, come back to the website for which you want to do experiment shop dot tech courses. This is the good one, but you are going to apply some techniques, some uh, plugins or something, but you don't want to get disturbed. Then what you can do is you can clone this. Means come entire website, you're copying somewhere else. So that if the main website happens something at any time, you can get it back from this guy. So it is asking you want to clone where I'm selecting to go P. Make sure that whenever you want to clone it, that website should be empty. Nothing should be there. Now under gopi dot tech courses, nothing is there. Now here I'm cloning that gopi dot tech courses dot com. I'm cloning from where shop dot tech courses. Clone all the files, whatever available on shop dot tech courses now come into the gopi dot tech courses dot com. Now you go to shop dot tech courses, you make changes anything. If something happened again, you can come back here from here. You can clone there. This is how we can do experiments. Let's see how it look now. Now done now go dot tech courses. We clone from this. Let's see how it's looking now. Maybe it's down. Yeah, see. It's same now. Previously, uh, shop dot tech courses like this. Now, gopi dot tech courses also like this. Everything is same now. That's it, guys. This is how you can clone. You can create subdomains. You can remove website. You can clone websites. There is one more thing called aliases what is this now i used to have a website called dial palamuru.com i tell my students that my website is dial palamuru.com when i pronounce they can type whatever they want so i asked one girl to search she was searching like this now she said that website is not coming i said it's coming to me then after that i probed her what you have typed? She said DAIL. Okay. Now I understood that. Okay. When our people listen to this, there is a possibility they will type like this also. Then immediately I purchased domain. But do I have to create a separate website or else do I have to clone? If I have to create, it's a hectic one. If you clone also, a lot of space I'm eating. You don't need to do all these things. Just put an alias. For this website, if you put an alias like this, Whenever customer type this dalepalamuru.com also, he will be going to this website only. This is called aliases. Very good uh, concept here. Oh, 
Okay, you can try it whenever you want. This I tried, it's really good. Very rare situations, uh, you will be required this anyway. Yes, guys. So today we discussed uh, C panel and how to create a subdomain, how to have an add on domain, then how to clone a website. These things uh, we decided. We have learned actually. Okay. Uh, of course, uh, you might not require all these things, but sometimes you got to do all these things. It's always good to have a knowledge on this. So if you have any questions, put it in a comment. Thank you very much, guys.